Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, on the successful organization of the Hajj pilgrimage, which was held amid exceptional circumstances due to the COVID-19 global pandemic. His Majesty the King commended the tremendous efforts of the custodian of the two holy mosques and the government to hold the Hajj pilgrimage, all whilst implementing adequate precautionary measures to ensure the highest levels of safety and health for pilgrims. His Majesty the King expressed best wishes to the Hajj pilgrims, wishing King Salman a abundant health, happiness, and a long life. He also wished the Arab and Islamic nations many happy returns and Saudi Arabia further security and prosperity under its leadership. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today congratulated the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, on the successful organization of the Hajj pilgrimage, which was held amid exceptional circumstances due to the COVID-19 global pandemic. His Royal Highness commended Saudi Arabia's tremendous efforts led by King Salman, the Crown Prince, and the government to hold the Hajj pilgrimage, all whilst implementing adequate precautionary measures to ensure the highest levels of safety and health for pilgrims. His Royal Highness expressed his best wishes to the Hajj pilgrims and to Saudi Arabia and its citizens many happy returns of the occasion as well as further progress and prosperity under the leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques. His Royal Highness sent similar cables to the Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud and advisor to the custodian of the two holy mosques, Governor of Mecca region and head of the Central Hajj Committee, His Royal Highness Prince Khalid Al Faisal bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. The Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, Engineer Islam bin Abdullah Khalaf, toured the National Agricultural Center in Ras Hayyan. The minister affirmed the ministry's continuation of implementing a strategy that is aimed at increasing the local fish production, highlighting the projects and initiatives aimed at achieving this strategy. Khalaf stated that the fish farming projects are considered a promising industry that will contribute to increasing fish production in Bahrain. He added that the ministry's interest in food security stems from the royal directives of His Majesty the King during the opening of the second session of the fifth legislative term of the Shura and Representatives Councils to develop a strategic project for national food production. The minister asserted that the aim of the visit is to review the progress of, maintain of maintenance work carried out at the centre. He added that one of the main pillars of the infrastructure for this activity is employing the latest technology that overcomes obstacles and providing laboratories that fish farming requires, in which the ministry made considerable progress. The kingdom continues to experience a reduction in the number of registered cases of coronavirus at a rate of less than 1% of all tested cases. The commitment of the citizens and residents have played a key role in achieving these numbers during the orange phase as they continue to observe the directions of Team Bahrain. The medical caterers continue to heed caution and said that the further updates as per the traffic light system will be indicated after the Eid holidays. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,097,355 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,035,604 had taken the second, and 115,595 had taken the booster dose. The Ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 815 with 73 recoveries and 78 registered new cases. 36 of uh, the new registered cases are expatriates, 27 are contacts of active cases and 15 are travel related. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.